So today we're going to be taking a look at Mirror Jade from the three and three quarter inch black series line between 2013 and 2014. And I know this is a very controversial action figure. Personally to me, I really like this action figure. I think it's great overall. Uh, to me, it's a, a five star rating. Personally to me, the problems that a lot of people have with this action figure, I do not. And I actually think it is one of the greatest parts about this action figure. So we'll get into that here in a moment. But anyways, I do not have the packaging to show you. If you recall back in 2013, the Black Series packaging, it was basically a very simple design, kind of similar to the six inch action figure. Uh, not really a whole lot there is to tell about it. But I will say this, it was an action figure that was originally supposed to be released in the vintage collection. I believe it was one in a fan vote, if I recall correctly. And unfortunately, the vintage collection was canceled at the time, so it was moved to the Black Series line instead. So we'll take a look at this action figure. I found this at Walmart back around 2013. It was between her and Darth Plagueis that was all on the shelf, surprisingly. And I picked this one up, and I did not pick up Plagueis at the time. I do have the Plagueis now, but I got it uh, another time. But I could have gotten it for like $5 at the time. So one of the biggest complaints about this action figure that I hear about is the hair and the eyebrows. Personally to me, I really like the hair. It, um, Mary Jade is a character that came out around 1991 or so. So I think the hairstyle fits very well for the time. And Mary Jade is a product of like the late 80s, early 90s time period. So I think the hairstyle is very fitting for her. I, and I really like this type of hairstyle in general. So it's a win-win. As for the eyebrows, I have seen some pretty bad samples out there. A lot of people say it looks too thick. It looks more uh, masculine. And I do understand that for a lot of people's samples, I have seen some really bad samples out there, but fortunately for mine, I think mine turned out very well. The eyebrows look just fine, I think. And I have seen some samples as well where the hair piece, it is sculpted different from the rest of the head where it's not set on her head very well. And it almost looks like she's missing a hairline or something like that, or it just looks off center. So that's something to keep an eye out on. And for those of you that don't know, Mary Jade is one of the most popular uh, characters from the Expanding Universe. She was an Emperor's Hand during the time of the Galactic Empire. And then after the death of Palpatine, she goes on to become a smuggler and works with Talon Card, who I do have an action figure of Talon Card reviewed on my channel as well. And then eventually she goes on to train and become a Jedi. And she eventually uh, marries Luke Skywalker. And her apprentice ended up being Jaina Solo. Another complaint I've heard about this action figure is that she has this uh, suit similar to the comic pack version of Mary Jade that we've gotten. I think it's alright for the most part. It's unique enough where you can say it's different, but... I do understand the complaint to it, but I'm glad that this is the particular Mirror Jade we got. Uh, in terms of articulation, technically she has a ball joint at the neck there, but because of the hair, obviously you can't move a whole lot. I'm not really bothered by it. You can maybe get a little bit of side to side motion in her neck there. Uh, she has a very good hinge at the shoulder there. It can go way past 90 degrees. Has a hinged elbow as well. Goes about 90 degrees. And then she has swivel wrists there. She has a good joint at the torso there. Has swivel hips. And then hinged knees. And hinged ankles as well. In terms of uh, accessories, she comes with this lightsaber. I believe she always had a purple lightsaber. Very good detailing in the hilt there.
And she also comes with a blaster, which is just a solid black piece, but it does have some good sculpting work built into it. A removable hilt or an unignited hilt. And technically, this holster here is removable as well. You can put the holster either on her hip or on her back there. Technically, the unignited hilt is supposed to go right here, but I like to keep it on her hip there. I think it looks a lot more realistic. Looks a lot better. And it can go either or. In fact, I don't think I've ever even put it on this uh, peg here. And her blaster also fits inside of her holster like so. Very snug. Give you one last look at her up close here. Has a very uh, shiny paint as well. Uh, but anyways, that's Mare Jade. Uh, again, it is a controversial action figure. Lots of people don't like it. I'm probably one of the few people that will say I do. I would recommend this, especially if you're interested in expanding universe characters. And Mare Jade is... Uh, one of my favorite characters from the Expanding Universe. There's lots of novels about her and she pops up quite a bit. I really hope at some point she does get a release in the Vintage Collection. Uh, would she benefit from Photoreal? I think the face is fine enough on this. If she gets a Photoreal treatment, it might be kind of blotchy. I can see her definitely getting a release in the Gaming Greats line based off of Mysteries of the Sith in which you play as Mary Jade in that game. Uh, but anyways, that concludes this review. Uh, I greatly appreciate the support up until now. Let me know what you think of this action figure in the comments, if you agree with me or if you disagree, whichever. And if you have not already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be plenty more reviews coming along the way. And thanks for watching.